G'day nerds. So let's have a look at how we insert um, a special character into a Google Doc. So that includes things like um, plus minus signs, degrees, um, all sorts of stuff, alpha symbols, Greek letters. Uh, and the reason we want to be able to do this is so that we can, you know, particularly in the sciences or the maths, um, we want to be able to use these characters which don't exist on our keyboard. Now, it's a little bit different to how we do it in uh, Microsoft Word. Uh, and I, to be honest, I actually like the process they use a bit better. And it's because it's got one feature that Microsoft Word doesn't have. So let's check it out. So first we'll type in um, docs.new. That just helps us create a new document. Um, we'll give it a name. Really important that you name Google Docs straight away because if you do a little bit with it and then go, oh, no, this is not for me and get rid of it, what will actually happen is it'll just be saved. It'll stay saved in your drive as an untitled document and that just becomes um, annoying and all over the place. So give it a name straight away. All right, so if I want to say that something is um, 39 degrees Celsius, what I would have to do is I type in my 39 and I go to insert special characters. So it's not actually on the main ribbon just here. It's under insert special characters. And then it does something interesting which the others don't do. So we can break it down into all of our sorts of um, options, but makes sense. Google's a search engine. Um, so it sort of thinks about, or the programmers think about things in those terms. Now, so the other ones don't quite do that. So I've got two, two functions here. First, I can draw the symbol. I'm just doing this with my finger because it's a touch screen. Um, and it's had a look and it goes, it looks a bit like the alpha. Um, it could be, I have no idea what this is. Could even be a wave. Um, so it gives me the options, right? But I'll refresh that. That's not what I want. What I want, well, maybe I wanted a degree, didn't I? So I just do a little circle. And there's my degree. And I also want it to be in degrees Celsius. So it actually gives me this option. Um, which we'll click on that. Now, I don't really like that one. And I'll show you why. Um, so we'll close that down. And you'll see that they're in different fonts. And you can't actually change the font of this in any way that is appreciable. It's going for a symbol, not a sign. So let's get rid of that. And I want to make it insert special characters. So I'm not going to use the, the draw function. This one I'm just going to use the side one. So I'm going to, I know it's the degree symbol. And I want that one. See, I could use any of the others as well. So I choose degree. And then I, so just by hitting it will, or clicking on it will make it appear and then I press C and you can see that it's now in the same font as everything else and that works for me. So those are the two ways. So to summarize we go insert special characters and then we have we can just look for something which is fine um, but it's clumsy and that's sort of the way it works in Microsoft Word or we can use a search word um, alpha and then we have all our alphas or we can draw it down here that gets us our beaters. Uh, if you have any questions, pop in the comments. Um, we always look forward to hearing from you. And yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye now.